Hey guys, I'm Mariana if you're new here. If you're not, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe before you leave and you can also hit the post notification bell so you're notified every time I post a video, which is every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get this really nice, dramatic, smoky eye and it's kind of like a sunset kind of ocean eye looking thing. I was inspired by Daisy Marquez and I did make a TikTok about this as well. So we're going to go ahead and get into it. So the first thing that I'm going to go ahead and do is prep my eyes. I'm going to be using this Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. This is like a really light shade of concealer. I'm not sure what shade it is, but it will be in the description box down below. So I just went ahead and outlined the lower part of my brow and my brow bone. And then I went ahead and filled in the rest of my eye with some concealer that I will be blending out later to make a nice blank canvas for the rest of the eyeshadow shades. So I like to do this just to prep my eyes. Um, this is actually like carving out your eyelid i what am i talking about so this is just prepping your eyes for the shadows it makes the shadows last longer and also look more vibrant so i'm just doing the same thing on the other side and then i went ahead and blended it all out and buffed it in with this real techniques brush this is like a small kabuki brush and i like to use this to blend out concealer in small places so i'm just making sure that i have a blank canvas like i said so I'm just going to go ahead and buff that out. Some people like to set the concealer on their eyelid before they apply the shadow, but I actually don't do that. I just feel like it makes the shadows like stick on there and last longer throughout the day. Um, so after I finish doing this, I'm going to be going in with an eyeshadow palette that I actually got from Amazon that I found out about from TikTok. So this palette is by the brand Beauty Glaze, and it's kind of a four palette in one um, color board which is what it's called I will link it in the description below so the first thing that I went ahead and did was added this magenta shade and I created like a line um right on top of my crease just to start off with so I like to put on more of the darker shades on my lid and then blend it out with the lighter shade so that's exactly what I'm doing so I just applied the line with this dense smudging brush and then I kind of flipped the brush to the side and then kind of just smoked out toward the top of the line that I created just to make it easier for the next shade to be blended in i did the same thing on the other side and the look that i'm going for is very colorful so it's going from like blue to purple to orange to yellow so i went ahead and applied the purple shade onto the crease which is going to be like the deepest part of the eye so i kind of blended that in with this last magenta shade by doing the same kind of technique so i just like applied the line with the brush and then i kind of turned the brush to the side and then blended it in with the last shade i will go in and blend them some more but i just wanted to map out and outline everything that i wanted it to look like in all the colors to be in the places that i wanted it to be just to see how i can make this work on my eye because everyone's eyelid space is different so the next thing that i did was i went ahead in with an orange shade um using a kind of more lengthy packer brush and then i just went ahead and applied that right on top of that magenta shade using windshield wiper motions and then i kind of like flipped it on the side as well and kind of buffed it into the pink uh, purple shade and then I just kind of tried to blend them together while I was applying the orange shade and then I was still kind of trying to leave room at the top for the yellow shade so next I went in with the yellow shade using the same brush and then I just kind of blended that into the orange and I didn't want to put too much on but I still wanted it to be really nice and vibrant so you could see every single color that I was laying down so I kind of just went in on the side of the brush and then just like blended it in really lightly using light pressure just so that I don't overpower any other colors and like I said I do go back in and buff them all out the next shade that I went in with is this kind of deep blue and I put this right under my crease and I just like to, well I just tried to pack it on and kind of blend it in with that purple shade and just cover the entirety of my lid except for the little um, piece at the bottom toward the lash line which is where the lighter blue is going to go and I kind of tried to keep this a rainbow looking shape on my eye and then toward the outer corner I winged this out just a little bit just so that the eye shape would be a little bit more cohesive 
after I put that on, I went ahead and went over the rest of the shades just a little bit just to make sure that they were still there and they didn't get lost in all of the blending. So this is me applying that magenta shade and kind of blending in that purple with the blue and then also just going back in with the yellow and just making everything look a little bit more there. Then the last thing that I did was go in with this kind of seafoam aqua blue shade and put that right on the bottom toward my lash line and kind of kept it in the middle and I didn't put this in my crease at all. I kept it on my lid. So this is like the lightest blue in the, like the middle and the center of the eye. Um, so this is the last shade that I went ahead and put on and I also kind of tried to make it blend in with that last blue shade as well and I'm just uh cleaning up the outer corner just to make it look like an eye shape so after this i went ahead and did the lower lash line as well um this is me using my mac 224 brush which is just like a big fluffy clean blending brush i just went over the whole entire thing just to kind of give it that one more nice buff and blend just to make sure that everything was meshed together really well so moving on to the lower lash line, I went ahead in with just two colors and I kind of tried to keep it cohesive and similar to what was going on in the eye. So I went in with that first purple kind of pinkish magenta shade and I just run, ran that under my lower lash line. Um, I also don't like to smoke out my lash line too much because I just feel like that overpowers my eyes and it just doesn't look good on me. So I kind of tried to kept it really small and then I went in with the uh, dark blue that I put in my crease and I just ran that like literally where my lashes are. So I didn't smoke this part out at all but the purple just makes it look blended. Then I went in with this gel paint liner from the Illuminati Cosmetics, which is like a really nice electric blue. And then I just ran that on my lower waterline just to give my eyes like a really nice pop. And it actually did really go pretty well with the look. So after that, I went ahead and added some lashes and mascara and that was basically it. So this is the finished look. I really like how it came out. I feel like the colors look as blended as they can be. And I also feel like my eyelid space is pretty small, so like I just was really happy with the way that it turned out. I feel like you can see pretty much all of the colors and the blend is definitely there. So that was it for today's video guys. I really hope that you enjoyed it. I definitely suggest that you try this look out. It is really dramatic, smoky, and colorful. So we don't have to just keep the holidays just red and brown and neutral. Um, if you do try this out, let me know. Thank you again so much for watching. If you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up as well. If you have any other video suggestions you'd like to see from me, please let me know. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!